There are lots of limitations with the native waterfall chart in Power BI. Uh, for example, in my case, I wanted to show intermediate totals for my years, but the native waterfall chart did not allow me to do that. So I created a custom one. In this video, I want to show the approach that I used and how you could replicate it. Um, and uh, let's get straight into it. So as you can see, I'm using the native uh, stacked column chart for this particular use case and I have multiple formulas here so I'm stacking them all together. Um, so the x-axis is a hierarchy with the year at the bottom and up, down and total uh, in uh, the lower section of the hierarchy and uh, yeah like there are several formulas for blank space for year-over-year -year growth uh, going up or down and for totals so you can essentially see them all uh, right here stacked on top of one another so now um, I will show you how to replicate the same look and feel uh, using DAX and the column chart so let's uh, jump to the new page and basically i will be using multiple tables for this demo uh, i will be using the sales table which i have here for my sales numbers i will be using the calendar and also i'll be using the uh, growth table which i created so if i go to the uh, up and down table it's not connected to anything. It just contains my uh, row names, up, down, total. I have a sort column for sorting them uh, in the order that I need. So other than that, this table is not connected to anything. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our hierarchy. We're going to do year and that's our up and down. So uh those are the two columns that we need uh if you first uh put them in this table you would get an error uh, because no relationship can be determined however you can determine this relationship inside of a dax formula that you write so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to uh we're going to go here and write our first formula. Uh, in my case, I called it demo total. So uh, we are essentially going to say every time that there is a total, uh, we want to calculate the sum of sales. And this is what we're going to do. So now that I've placed the formula, I can see my numbers. Every time there is a total, I will get the value. Every time um, you know, there is some other value, I would just get a blank and Power BI would not show it. Now, I just need a, a separate formula for uh, numbers going up. Uh, so in my case, I've got this year over year uh, growth that I've calculated. And uh, let me place it in here. So the year over year growth uh basically determines the current year which is uh in this case i calculated it as a minimum so if uh, we um calculate the minimum of year in this row it will be 2019 this row 2020 this row 2021 so it's essentially a current year and then uh we will calculate uh, the sum of uh, turnover in the current year minus the sum of turnover in the last year, so current year minus one. Uh, please bear in mind that the calculate formula clears out the row con uh, context, so the filter by 2020 is no longer applied. Instead, uh, we are saving 2020 as a variable called current year and we're just doing minus one. So uh, after this, um, you know, we, we will see the year-over-year uh, -year growth in every year. I've also created a formula to show zero for the 
first year of our calendar, which is 2019, because the growth is going to be 100%. So it's just uh, not relevant in this case. Uh, now the next step is to calculate the numbers going up. So in this case we have, uh, uh, like if year-over-year -year growth is above zero, then we show the year-over-year -year growth, otherwise we show nothing. So those are my numbers going up, and now I just need the same for numbers going down. And uh, there we go. So right now I've got, if I get rid of this, I have those uh, several columns. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, switch to a stacked column chart and I'm going to create my hierarchy. Uh, the other columns, yeah, they move to tooltips. So I'm going to bring them up here. Okay, so as you can see, my down, uh, my down uh, column is uh, starting at zero and um, yeah it's it's basically going down uh, so it's going below zero that's not what i want i wanted to start here where the total column ends and i want it to end uh you, you know wherever um yeah but basically wherever uh the down number is. So I will need to uh, correct that really quick. So the way I'm going to correct it is I will go to year over year down uh, formula and I'm basically going to display minus one times the year over year growth. So like this. Okay, and the last thing that I will do is I will add uh, the formula for the blank space. Now, if you think about it, I want my up starts where 2019 ends. So my blank space for 2022 should be the uh, total for 2019. And then my blank space for uh, 2021 should be the total of 2020. So I've got this formula here. Uh, so if the year over year growth is blank, then you know I don't show any um, uh, any blank space. In other words, I don't need uh, this for the minimum year in my graph. Uh, however, for all other years, if uh, the growth is up, then I want to basically use the sum of turnover value of the last year, which is, you know, going to be the total column. If it's down though, uh, I will want to use the uh, current year. So the, the sum of the turnover of the current year. That's where I want uh, the uh, down, um, uh, that's where I want this bar to start. So if I now, put this blank space in here, uh, then my graph will start looking like this. Uh, the last thing I'm going to do is I am going to change the colors so they are a bit more intuitive. So I will go here, I will go to columns. Uh, so my blank space should be white like this. The totals can be neutral color, maybe something like that. Uh, and then my growth going up would be green, my growth going down would be orange. Okay, so something like this. Uh, the last thing I will do is I will clean this up. So, uh, you know, we are seeing currently some blank space for the down um, column which is making our graph a bit disconnected and uh, same for up. So we basically need to correct it. We need to say, uh, you know, if uh, the column has no values at all, then we don't want to show blank space value for it. So the specific problem with it is the year over year growth demo formula is right now returning uh, data for 
uh, all of those columns. However, uh, we only wanted to return the data for the particular column uh, of the direction of the year-over-year -year growth. We don't want it to return the data for the uh, irrelevant columns. So we just need to code the condition for that. The best way that I found is creating this formula. So we're going to say if the uh, value of the hierarchy is up, uh, we're going to test if the year-over-year -year growth is in fact up, if it's more than zero, then we will show the year-over-year -year growth. Otherwise, uh, we will go blank. Then, if the uh, value is down, then uh, we will test if it's in fact down. If it is, then uh, we will show the numbers. If it's not, then we will show blank. And uh, yeah, that's, that's essentially uh, the solution to this. So I will go to the... Uh, I will go to the blank space demo and basically we just need to replace this uh, year over year growth edited. If I now apply it, then we'll see our uh, beautiful waterfall chart. Uh, right now we can do some more editing to it. Uh, you know, for example, we don't need the legend because this is going to say uh, blank space or like yeah it would uh, repeat what the columns are saying so I will remove the legend uh, I can change the title to something a bit more descriptive I can uh, remove the access titles which is usually uh, a good practice if they are not adding any value and uh, yeah, that's our custom bar chart done. So I will add all of the docs uh, under the description of this video, so you can copy it yourself and paste. And uh, yeah, I hope that you found this video useful.